Congress took a major step toward avoiding a government shutdown and funding federal agencies through September. Republicans and Democrats in both the House and Senate jointly released a $435 billion package that will fund specific government functions and programs, including the Departments of Justice, Commerce, Housing and Urban Development, Military Construction, Veterans Affairs, and more. Lawmakers are on track to approve it before Friday's deadline. A vote in the House is expected Wednesday. It'll then be sent to the Senate. Both parties are putting their own spin on it and trying to frame it as a victory. Senate Appropriations Chairwoman Patty Murray, a Democrat, stated, Democrats fought hard to protect investments that matter to working people everywhere and help keep our economy strong, rejecting devastating cuts to housing, nutrition assistance, and more. Importantly, we blocked countless extreme Republican policies like efforts to restrict abortion rights that would have set our country back decades. House Appropriations Chairwoman Kay Granger, a Republican, stated, The final fiscal year 2024 appropriations bills achieve what we set out to do, strategically increase defense spending and make targeted cuts to wasteful non-defense programs. The bill has some items for both sides to be happy about. For instance, Democrats are happy that it fully funds WIC, special nutrition assistance for nearly 7 million women, infants, and children. It also provides $70 billion for rental assistance and efforts to reduce homelessness. Republicans noted that they got a 10% cut at the Environmental Protection Agency and that it provides $2 billion more than the president asked for to improve barracks and other quality of life projects at military facilities. There are also non-political victories. The bill provides $20 billion for the Federal Aviation Administration, which will help hire 1,800 new air traffic controllers and provide additional training. Much needed after the multiple close calls that have happened at airports over the last year. This compromise minibus bill is expected to pass with a strong bipartisan vote, in part because it has to. The House is taking it up under suspension of the rules. That means it needs a two-thirds majority vote to be approved, not a simple majority which the House normally requires. But this bill represents less than one-third of the government's discretionary spending or items for which they can change the funding levels for each year. The bigger package in both amount and importance will come next week and needs to be approved by March 22nd. That bill will fund the Departments of Defense, Homeland Security, and Environmental Programs. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.